Welcome to the August 14th, 2017 Advance Report for McGowan Group Asset Management Clients. Today we bring to life the activity in the markets. I've got eight charts. We're going to go rapid fire through them and what they mean. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You can see settling back down amid the fears of North Korea this week. The Dow settling just below 22,000. Look at that post-election rally. Boom. It has been relentless and it may in fact take a pause due to the fears of North Korea. Also related to geopolitical conflict fears, notice this 30-year Treasury breaking down below 2.8% this week. That's the rate on the 30-year Treasury. It hit 3.2 post-election and it's consistently settled back down. This is despite the Federal Reserve taking the short rates from near zero to a target rate above 1%. We've moved the opposite. This next chart shows it. This is the flattening of the yield curve. Longer rates have come down. This is the difference between the two-year yield and the 10-year. What does it mean? Well, that inversion right there is a recession. That's when it's below zero. In the current environment, it doesn't appear recessionary, but it is compression of the longer yields not moving with the Federal Reserve. They're going to have to ask themselves, do they really have to raise rates again on September 19th and 20th? Amazon. Everybody who didn't have lots of Amazon is now regretting it. This is a lot like the 1990s when people piled into Lucent, they feeling like they had missed the boat. What happened with Texas Instruments may actually happen with Amazon. Alex Tolin's research this week pointed out that Amazon is so high priced, even if they do extraordinarily well, they may have already built it in. Remember TI underwater for 16 years, as was Dell Computer. The retail ice age, big subject. Plano-based JCPenney this week falling well below $4 per share. Look at that. That's an $80 peak for JCPenney. And this is true, Macy's, Nordstrom. The whole retail ice age just setting JCPenney on fire this week. They may not be able to survive because it's going to be next to impossible to raise capital after this implosion. Fossil. This is a reminder when something's hot, it's good time to take some profits. Fossil hit 130. This was about five years ago. Did it again just about four years ago. Now, $8 a share fossilized. Who needs a watch? You've got a phone, or you could look smarter if you had an iWatch. <laughs> Snap, well, Snap to the downside this week, 12 bucks. Beware the IPO. Snapchat, well, Facebook is just running all over them, and the losses are massive at Snapchat. Those investment bankers priced this thing, got it foisted onto the public and the index funds just in time because Snapchat's results absolutely horrific this last quarter. Buyer beware. This market is not without risk, and that's good proof. This is Blue Apron. Well, this food delivery service, five bucks a share. Notice the IPO price. This IPO market may dry up as people realize it is dangerous to take an investment banker's word at an IPO. I'm Spencer McGowan. Thank you for joining us. Advanced reports are loaded weekly to YouTube, and we look forward to you visiting NetworthRadio.com for the long play program featuring an interview this weekend. Medical breakthroughs, Dr. Matt Rayner joins us, and we look forward to seeing you at NetworthRadio.com.